I've loved my time at Audenshaw. I uh, came over here from Halifax in, in 2007. And if I reflect now upon what, what we've achieved as a, as a department, as a rugby staff, as a sports staff, and as a group of students, um, it, it's, it's quite incredible the things, the things that we've achieved. Um, so yeah, it's with a, with a heavy heart really that, I, that I'll leave on Friday, but with uh, a tremendous collection of memories to take with me. But you've left a legacy at the school, not just in the school, but in primary schools as well. Can you tell us a bit about the work you've done in those primary schools? Yeah, originally my job was uh, school sport coordinator and what that was was a national uh, program in which each school had, each secondary school was given a group of primaries in which they'd go in and deliver initiatives in PE, sport, leadership, competition. Uh, and when the, when the Conservative government came in in 2010, that was basically disbanded across the across the country but i've continued to go in to my group it's initially of, of three and then it became seven primary schools in the area where i've gone in and delivered p and sport to all age groups from year one up to year six um, and then each block of work has then culminated in a in a competition here at audenshaw so we've done i worked it out the other day to uh, 144 primary school competitions in uh, in my time here uh, and it's been great to see so many of the lads from taking them through from the age of from the age of four and five in year one to um, many of them now who are, who are 17 18 so to have been able to play such a long part in their sporting careers and, and their school careers has been really satisfying and you've also played an integral part in bringing rugby league to the school for the first time ever i believe yeah i mean we've we've always done a lot in both codes of the game um We've we, we've achieved a great deal in in rugby union and in rugby league, and uh, it's it's nice to see now. Um, you know, you've got professional players running out on a Friday night on Super League who learnt their who learnt their yeah. game here at Audenshaw. Lads like Jack Johnson, who's in the first team at Warrington. Prior to that, we had Gene Ormsby and Patrick Anglin's another rising star who's who's come through come through the program here. Uh, the games work hand in hand, and. We've um, we've always paid a lot of attention to both codes of the game and achieved a lot really and very rare for a state comprehensive school to have done the things uh, not only in rugby but across sports that, that we've done here. You mentioned Patrick Anglin then, I believe he's uh, represented Ireland recently? That's right, yeah, he represented Ireland at Rugby League on uh, on Saturday against Scotland and uh, he actually scored three tries, he scored the winning try um, and was man of the match in that game and so a pretty impressive international debut for Patrick and he was somebody again who really bought into the, the model of what we do at Audenshaw and um, w was a great leader, a great, uh, a great player to have in your team and somebody who brought on others around him and I'm incredibly proud of Patrick and, and the lad that he's become. And you've also taken the Audenshaw Sharks to the national finals on a few occasions as well. Is that a standout memory? Yeah, there's there's quite a few standout memories really, and I was I've, I've thought a lot about this in in the last few days. Um, the Audenshaw Sharks, myself and my captain Aidan Tevlin, set the team up uh, seven or eight years ago, and obviously we didn't have a swimming pool, so we we found pool time at Denton Baths, and um, and we developed the team from there. And I had what I'll always call my golden generation of swimmers, Alex Campbell, Kean Tevlin, Wunai Tam and uh, Joel and Bennett, who were part of my teams who made it to the national finals uh, on two occasions in 2015 and 2017. And one of my happiest moments as an Audenshaw teacher was standing there at the Olympic pool uh, in London, again as one of the only state schools competing there with my team and... and just being so proud of, of, of where they'd come mm. um, and I think probably my other memories would, would have been on the rugby pitch the three the three teams that made the Lancashire Cup finals my 2007-8 uh, team who won 24 of 26 a team with Mike Morland in El Mardi Ash Platt Hughes who've all done very well in the game since uh, we were back again in 2013-14 the Patrick Angling team yeah, yeah. and again this year um, and I think really probably the outstanding victory would have been winning the Kirkham Sevens in 2010 yeah. um, as the only comprehensive school still to this day ever to win that title. You've also established a good connection with Olympic sports gym as well, Steve and Clegg. How important has that connection been to developing players? Oh, it's been so important. I think the boys don't, don't necessarily realise how lucky they are to have 
a place like Olympic Gym and yeah. staff like Stephen, Mark, Sean and, and the boys down there who have, who have trained our teams over the years. Um, Stephen's as good as I've ever met as a conditioner. Uh, He's, he has a he has a way with the players. He relates to them, and he's also one of our ex students. Yeah. And you know, I'll ring Stephen up. I said, "This is what we want to work on today. This is where we're at within our season." Uh, and he's also become a great friend. All, all the clegs are, yeah. um, and I hope again that that will be something that the boys continue to do uh, to go down to the gym and keep training and keep keep the uh, momentum that we've had there. It must be a wrench to leave Ornanshaw, especially after 12 years, but moving to a school in Doncaster, a new challenge. Can you tell us what you'll be doing there? Yeah, um, it's it sort of come about really as a, a, a combination of circumstance and, and, and opportunity. And um, yeah, um, schools are in a very difficult position in the state sector. There's a national funding crisis uh, and, and Heads and, and, and management teams are left with very difficult decisions about where to allocate resources, and, it, and it's hard. And I actually wrote to the RFU last year about what, what I consider to be a bit of a crisis in the state right. sector with regard to the, the situation and, and, and what the governing body could do to help schools like Audenshaw. Um, and, and so I, I saw an opportunity in the rugby paper in, in uh, at, at Hill House School in Doncaster, which is where I'm going to, and it will allow me to essentially coach and teach rugby uh, full time, which yeah. is something that I'm very excited about. Um, you know, it's a school that's that, that's very well resourced and that um, want to invest and want to grow their program, and that's something that I've done at this school. Um, and, and I'm and I'm really looking forward to, to getting over there. I start there on Monday. Um, and if you know if we can do anything like what we've managed here over the years, it'll be uh, it'll be a real success. Brilliant stuff. And just finally, have you got a few final words for you know past teachers and current teachers since you're moving? Yeah, I would say that uh, I remember um, a former teacher describing Audenshaw as the the good ship, uh, and it really is. The school is quite unique in the area, uh, in the northwest, in terms of what it provides. Um, you know, I, I, I've always felt that the the Audenshaw badge with its red rose and white rose was quite quite fitting for me yeah. um, as a Yorkshireman who's 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 found his home here. Um, and I would say to all the all the P lads and all the members of staff, keep doing it. You know, keep doing what you do. Keep being out there five nights a week and on a Saturday morning because the boys value it. The boys appreciate yeah. it, and it's what separates us off from the rest. It's what makes this school different. Um, and so, yeah, just, just make sure that you continue to invest in our lads because they're great kids and, um, and if you do, you, you, you get the rewards.